We've seen the horrific photos and heard the stories of those at Ground Zero when nuclear bombs were dropped on Japan in 1945. But what about the people who lived near the site of the first atomic bomb test here in southern New Mexico? The so-called Trinity Downwinders held their first protest near the site last weekend during the annual open house when hundreds of visitors blocked to what is now the White Sands Missile Range. Now, these residents are seeking recognition and compensation for decades of illnesses and death that they say were caused by radiation from that blast that changed the world forever. And the National Cancer Institute now announced it would conduct a study of the effects of the blast nearly 70 years ago. And Tom, these folks have been waiting a long time for some kind of movement. And it's um, interesting to see those pictures of protesters at that site. You know, yeah. that's a New Mexico little tourist treasure down there. We don't often see protesters. Mm -hmm. But as it stands now, you know, how do, how do we move this ball forward? Is this what it takes is getting folks out there and say, look, it's been a long time, but it doesn't matter. We were affected here. We need some compensation. Well, and it's a fascinating story. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I was uh, largely unaware of, you know, of what, what was going on until all the media coverage of, mm -hmm. of recent. Uh, but, you know, this has potential to, you know, have a lot of different uh, impacts. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, the families, this issue needs to be addressed by the federal government, period. Mm -hmm. Um, and New Mexico needs to take a very keen approach to it because mm -hmm. it will impact. I, you know, this is this is one of those areas where politics and tourism mix, mm -hmm. and you know we've seen how it does not mix well in Arizona. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen SeaWorld Im be impacted by it as well through the Blackfish documentary. And while this situation is very serious, and we're talking about families that have lived there, mm -hmm. and many generations and, and a history. So, you know, I think that it's, this is, this is, we all should take notice. This sure. is something that's going to be taking the headlines very quickly. I agree. And Laura, you know, when you think about the organic living was part of the quotes from some of the folks down there, meaning you ate what you grew, you, you raised livestock for beef, I mean, the whole thing, Dairies. drinking lots of milk, and all that stuff was compromised, it seems now. So now we have a study. However, and it seems like there's a good opportunity to take some things forward and avoid a lot of these mistakes, but I'm back in the compensation here for a quick second. What could possibly compensate a family for something like this? How much is enough, as they say? Right, and, you know, and I tough. think, I think it, you know, receiving a, an apology is step one, there which they have not received um, mm -hmm. formally from the U.S. government. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think the study is the right, a right step to take, one important part of quantifying mm -hmm. The, the health effects um, uh, of the actions then and, mm -hmm. and what ended up occurring and, and could be occurring you know through generations possibly so uh, I think they have to have some sort of a uh, you know get their hands around what actually happened and mm -hmm. have some numbers to point to mm -hmm. about what the effects have been and then from that you know have the discussion about compensation but mm -hmm. to this point I think they're still waiting for an apology even right. formal apology and an acknowledgement of this mm -hmm. and I think as a, as a community here in New Mexico we absolutely have to take note of what's happened there mm -hmm. and um, and you know help them with that help them I agree with that. And Sophie, you know, part of this process seems like uh, folks are organized now. There's a mm -hmm. Tularosa Basin Downwinders Association. Folks are mm -hmm. organized. And when folks get organized, change happens. They mark in the, march into senators' offices and things happen. Yeah. So I think one know. of the other things that's happening, and we, we, we need to acknowledge mm -hmm. that the failure of the federal government to um, to acknowledge, to respect what happened down there and to, to respect the communities down there, that's a long-term problem. Mm -hmm. um, Something that can happen is that when there is the perception that there's a chink in the wall that we might be able to, we might be able to get through with our message here, that it tends to kind of turn things up a little bit. And so, I think that we are in a place now where there's an opportunity for those communities to be heard, whereas maybe there wasn't in the past, both because of the lack of scientific knowledge, and also because the climate wasn't right, um, our protection of our, our defense industry, et cetera, wouldn't mm -hmm. allow it, mm -hmm. and now there's the opportunity to talk about it. That said, mm -hmm. that said, I am certain that part of the longstanding problem has been mm -hmm. if we acknowledge this community, if we help this community, right. what about all the other That's communities right. around right. the country? Right. Not with the same situation, mm -hmm. but each with their own unique situation. Exactly right. And once those doors open, mm -hmm. there's a beautiful opportunity for um, for reparations, mm -hmm. but there's also the liability for That's that. That's right, and an apology at the same yeah. time. Janice, interestingly, um, there was the 1990 Radiation Exposure Compensation Act in a couple of iterations beyond that. Mm -hmm. The folks, in fact, like Sophie mentioned, did get compensated. It did sort of have a, a domino's effect, but we got passed over. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing situation. How is that possible? 
Um, actually, I think it's, that's why they call New Mexico the flyover state. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but the truth is, is that New Mexico stood up. We stood up and came to the aid of our nation. Mm -hmm. We did. And you know what? I believe our leaders at the time understood that there would be great risk. The downwinders have been around for a long time. Most of the children are now who were affected are my age. And those issues are coming to the fore. And I agree with Sophie that uh, it is a, a matter of money, but we're also at the point where many of those downwinders are on a shortened lifespan, but we've caused critical health issues as a result. Mm -hmm. And to say that they didn't exist, that's just wrong. It's, it's just wrong. I know. Coming up, I delve into transparency, or lack thereof, in the state's economic development incentives.